Good evening, I am Jose Ruiz, uh, and when I joined it, I think that it was an interesting talk to, to do, because for me it was very interesting, and I kept doing it, and, and I think that uh, was a good way to know, feed, uh, to receive feedback from some of the banal yeah. I began uh, programming at the school. Uh, my father was a uh, civil engineer in uh, Bureau, and I was helping him in the weekends uh, doing surveys in the, the country and in the evenings. And the bureau doing calculus and I began to programming with uh, HP 25 and the HP 41. Uh, I began and I started to work in in some systems uh, 16 bits, uh, the HP uh, 300. And after that, I, I worked with uh, even System uh, 37 and PDP 1, uh, 11 and some calculators. Um, when I started uh, the networking and my workplace uh, were almost all serial lines. Uh, via modem or or dedicated lines uh, from the the telecom company, and I started to to connect to some BBAs and Fidonet uh, sometimes and CompuServe. Uh, it, for these years, I became a civil servant and. In the Spanish administration, the, the part of it is from outside the, uh, companies, and some some of us uh, were few people and only in isolated buildings. Uh, I program it in assembler most mostly uh, one language that was calling system program language that was particular of HP for the 3000 series. PL1, BASIC, PASCAL, C. In the 90s, uh, we began to, to have um, some workstations and a little isolated networks, um, uh, Ethernet, Mm, token ring, some, well, I particularly uh, work it, uh, using serial lines to test the TCP stack, uh, but there wasn't anything normalized. And in the 90s, I discovered Perl, uh, and the thing that that I surprised me the most was that when after asking to the eight responsibles that where I can get the, the Windows NT resource kit, uh, I discovered that almost all the resource kit for Windows NT was Perl only. So <laughs> it's when it was really funny. Uh, after that, in the late 90s and to the near future, I was using Perl to substitute uh, some Xerox printer that were using the CES language. Uh, that was um, only Xerox produced these printers from uh, the early 80s to 
I think that uh, 96, but they, then they change and use uh, PTL and Postgres. But all the, the, um, the applications that were for the world corporation were written to be printed in these printers because the, the page language um, was transparent uh, between ABCD and, and FC. So the only, only use of printable characters, you can define the scape and were really heavily used. And we were in a department that we were doing the, um, uh, the, pub the publication and we were giving official papers printed in those printers and uh, they were aging and they filed almost one or two printers every day uh, in the, the power source, the electrolytical, electrolytical condensator, uh, Burnett, and we were changing them. So uh, we have a new printer that uh, were translated uh, from Xerox that was, was translated in the, the sex to postscript uh, for several conditions. But you have to have a Xerox printer or uh, Aladdin Ghost script or GPL Ghost script. So I created uh, a a program that got me, got me the source and in PostScript, and then I pass it to Aladdin Ghost Script and distributed in different printers that they were using the, the the network, and to maintain users and resources uh, from Windows because if we were not having the the Windows NT toolkit, so you cannot have a list of users or, or and the register. Uh, and then in February 2003, uh, we know the Permontes Barcelona, that was the first meeting, the, the original, uh, the person that created the group is now in, I think that is in Washington. And, and was then in two groups from Barcelona, but we didn't know. Uh, the only thing written in the, in the backlog of the list, um, uh, I think that was two years before, but then he has a chill, so the group ended and when the, uh, the chill was two years, began to start and that was my, my first reunion with the, with the Palmongers and since then I am, I am a active member of the group. And now, uh, I am outside on, no, it's not good. The, well, is now I am outside of the IT structure. And the three years ago, uh, all people that were public servants on it uh, were uh, put to more administrative or paperwork functions, and I ended in a place that uh, were doing um, control of the, of the penalties for the transport agents. And they had a, 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 an application that is from a 32, uh, 70 terminal. Uh, and I did uh, some robots to extract information because the uh, limitations of the, the application that uh, was from the early 90s, 
and use Perl because I have used the, the macro language that that we're using, but it wasn't using uh, uh, OLED OLA32 for automation. So I made a module to do to scrap the information from the screens and or to change information. The the another one, the this one, uh, is is going through all the list and was is issuing orders to be to create a payment order. So. Uh, and then I uh, last year I know about Cpan pull request, and I get because uh, even now I am programming more than when I was in the AP structure. Um, uh, lastly, I was uh, doing help desk. For, uh, for for the legacy systems and general helping the help desk through and uh, I have a lot of uh, work not that, that you have to be there and lately uh, I have more more time and when I was programming that I don't like to do about the world. So, um, yeah, and then I can do it. And and one thing that I have, I usually do is when I participate in a project, uh, usually are silly things, but sometimes no. And, and I remember that when I was working uh, with the open mocha, uh, do you know the phone, uh, the free phone? Uh, one of the things that I found was that in, that was most important for embedded system that uh, the, the kernel, the compil to compile the kernel has um, um, a dependency of Perl. But Perl, as, as is done in most of the uh, embedded system, don't have all the core. Have Perl and all the modules, even the core ones, are, are part and uh, trying to, to test if the, the mobile can compile the, the kernel. I found that the, uh, the specific module that was needed for for the kernel to be compiled and put a patch for the documentation and uh, with git I felt that I can do it so why not uh, to give back and to test if I can survive the challenge so Uh, the workflow the, that I follow is read the signal. Uh, I don't know if any of you were in the challenge, but uh, Nail assigns you a model and says the issues that he thinks. Usually, some of them is uh, quality metrics uh, or lack of readme, something similar that sometimes are from the Cepan distribution and not for the, the GitHub repository because, um, and, and, well, and I read the assignment, I make the clone, it, I plan possible uh, peers uh, depending on the time that I calculate that I will have this month. So usually I classify if I this metadata data or something similar. Those I I plan and uh, look at the, the 
distribution building system that use the Git distribution. That um, that why I I knew Manila. That is very funny. Um, I'll, I look for the Rini, it's, it's in Thetan, uh, because can be in Thetan and not in GitHub. Uh, uh, test, if we can test directly from the Git repo address with Thetan minus. Mm, Red the issues and GitHub and uh, request tracker. If uh, I don't find a clean path, path, I ask the maintainer if with something. Uh, after that, that I have the pull request planet, uh, I try to find time because depending the I need from six to ten hours, uh, depending if if I can get some of them in a big block or only half an hour because uh, if you don't read a lot of code you cannot have a, a less like a, a, um, a map from the distance and if I find something to do I, I do it the first because uh, well, with uh, I was assigned in in June with Pinto, and I noticed noticed that the distiller uh, uh, now don't support uh, Perl. I think that uh, fourteen. So I made the path, but I don't change. And the, when I went to do the the path, I noticed that the author <laughs> that was was an obvious done. So even it's not just a, a challenge, but this part also helps you to maintain the interest. Um, and then I send the the message uh, to Nail to take account the how is going the the pull request uh, this I have some distributions well I only skip one time and I stick well this this month I will maintain the package because with the uh, the YPC, I can do anything. But I get Metacepan Api Thini, that uh, was uh, the author wizard to deprecate it. And I did the deprecation and received the maintenance of the SysPath. That was tricky because it was a, a false negative on a test in, on Windows machines, and was that wasn't using the canonical path, and the, just using the canonical path worked okay in both systems. So I sent this. That was the the first one in a test. Uh, Black Mirror world was only cosmetic change. Out of all score was uh, generate correct metadata and DBA uh, that I was very worried because <laughs> you can do wrong things. I did. Uh, I think that I don't don't remember if is is still in the in the beta, but was put strictures looking at the code where the structures were broken to put them, uh, just put the no, and was a lot of work because most of the modules have them, but not all, and it's critical. Uh, and Rex, I did a wish list 
But uh, we found that uh, we're using a, a globe and uh, you could leak information from the, the controller system that is sending the, and did the, the pull request, did the test, uh, but I, I say the, uh, well, Farky, this is the maintainer, uh, I don't like it because that, they can, can leak information. And during last YPC, um, uh, we agreed how to do the 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 pull request. Uh, now it's just a documentation explaining why it looks like a good idea, why it isn't, and and in real reality is it the was only to permit. Uh, um, Syntax sugar, so if you need uh, to do it, and you can do it the same, but it's not in the package, it's in your code. So, um, uh, after that, I get a form handler that was uh, a local problem, and some message in some locals don't work well. Uh, type thingy, uh, I added some test. Uh, I did in two months because uh, I was uh, last year for JPC Europe. I was doing the the Lanyard view of the conference, and <laughs> it dropped me a lot of time. And uh, then really fast that has some building time since US in the version and then I I put a, a patch to Zepan minus that uh, Migayawa didn't accept because uh, he said that Don has intention to to support uh, Gibson modules and to Minila uh, that uh, when you are using Git to get some some information, in, in almost all the locals works, but I think that it's Bulgarian and some variants of Chinese don't use the the words and Catalan too. So <laughs> I I did feel it. Uh, the other ones were quality or documentation, but mm, were most of them. Cosmetic. If I find a cosmetic change, uh, usually I send the pull request, but only explaining it that is up to the author the, the most of the times that that I found all of them very uh, very agreeable. I don't know if it's by the modules that I said. And in this year, the rules changed. The distribution maintainer must stop in because uh, Neil said that uh, some distributions were were saying that they don't wish that they have to be in the the distribution has to be in the Sepan River that uh, for Neil is uh, that has to have two two or more distributions that depend on them and was only open to those that made two or more challenges. Why I kept in it? It's fun. And sometimes when it's more fun when you find another module than the one that you have been assigned that needs the pull request because <laughs> it's, mm, it's, it's fun. Uh, it's a learning experience because uh, I, usually you only go to Sepan, install with Sepan minus, with Sepan sometimes, and, and you don't learn anything about the, the model. Mm, it, 
it helps to create experience on how to do it or I I am really grateful to have been here and this year uh, I have been working more and don't have so many time to the to put in the in the PC at home but I did test the VS encoded with a uh, plugin to the Scylla uh, the Statocross Pro Pinto DVD or DVC that there was quality and more of them and now I have list of objects with utils that I think that I can find some pull requests but I don't have time only I clone the repository, read, and did nothing more. Uh, I asked Neil some information. I have the some of the that the um, did he for a talk in December last year, but uh, send me the current numbers now, and this this are. Uh, 772 different distributions with one pull request, 29 with three pull requests, one with four per critic, and one with five four 432 people uh, with uh, uh, let's one, 243 with uh, that have done one, uh, two, two people that have done all pull requests, and today five can do it, and we are now 20 people and this and that's uh questions yes <laughs> no yes because that counts <laughs> No, no, no. I, uh, usually, I teach uh, uh, this. I put because uh, happened to me with with Pinto just. But uh, in going to force them, uh, I was flying with the idea of how to that was an issue real, and was flying with the idea and did uh, existing comics something similar. And with with message that uh, I asked beside the author, uh, this is my idea of of, of a part that I, the pull request that I will send you. But uh, for them this year was the last week in of uh, January, and it was just after, uh, from home before going to the airport and. I send it because I don't know if during the post and I can and when I log it in GitHub in in, in for them uh, I saw that it was accepted uh, so I don't know if but I think that it's useful if you are respectful and say I think that I I have uh, been really happy with it, uh, with the response. Some some modules uh, or some pull requests haven't had feedback, but I look at the GitHub history and most of them don't have feedback or uh, have uh, pendings. So.
so your question is if a team, as a team, is doing the pull request? Um, I think that it, that it could be possible. In fact, uh, some of the hackathons are no more than that. A group of people working. So I think so. <laughs> well, <laughs> when? <laughs> <laughs> well, not really. Uh, Neil said that if you put a donation of 20 pounds recursive, uh, he will affect you <laughs> <laughs> to the Bell Foundation, yes. <laughs> Mm. I really don't expect um, um, more feedback that if, well, I expect more feedback if the pull request is not affected, that it is affected. If it's affected, it's, it's okay mm, to not have feedback. It's nice, but. How many more eh? How many I think that mm, most of them are, are rejected for other motives. Uh, but uh, rejected without, well, more than the rejected, don't act on the pull request. I think that I have three. But most of the, the last year, most of the the pull requests that that you don't receive anything were with pull requests. Some of them from the twelve, and some of them before. So, it's, and some are not accepted because uh, has another pull request that has the same the same path that you and I, and you usually uh, look at the pull request at the first moment when you are doing your code it's easy to forget to look at the pull request so. <laughs> <laughs> 